So, hello everyone! Welcome to another uh, episode of uh, Bowser's Tale 1. So, we're gonna continue to uh, <coughs> explore the uh, level 1 sewers. And we should uh, be able to finish that up uh, today. And possibly see a little bit of uh, the second level of the sewers. So, things are going pretty smoothly here since we are uh, almost at level 9. So that is a good level to be at. So we should be able to get to level 9 here today. And uh, get new spells. So that'll be pretty cool. So hello to everyone. Hello Amazine. Ah, uh, yes, I did not beat uh, King's Bounty last night. Uh, because I wasn't sure how much uh, game was left. So I stopped at that point. But we should definitely uh, beat it tonight. Definitely beat it tonight. Since, uh... We don't have any more islands to explore, so we just gotta finish off a couple of quests and then uh, go into the end game. So that'll be exciting. So, but back to Bard's Tale, so uh, let's uh, let's get started. Yeah, let's get started. So, uh, we think we have about 25% uh, more of. Uh, 25% more to go on uh, sewer level 1. There are a few different passages here that we're going to have to we'll, uh, explore here. So we are all pretty much ready to go here, so we can just head straight to the sewers here. And another level for Grungo will be pretty awesome, since uh, Grungo is already pretty strong. Oh, we got three conjures. What will we ever do here? We will kill these guys, of course. Grungle's already my uh, best, almost my best fighter now. So, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, 50 XP experience and three gold pieces. Yeah, the sewers is mainly uh, was built for uh, leveling up your characters. There isn't really much in there as far as story and plot, but there is <coughs> one thing that we will need from the sewers. Mm. It's attack! Fight! There's one thing we will need from the sewers in order to uh, progress. And I think it's located on the second level of the sewers. And the uh, shadow killed him. Nice. So I got 170 XP, 6 gold pieces. So I'm going to order a drink, get some wine. Alright, we're back down to the wine cellar here. Nope. So I'm going to cast a spell. Um, what's that spell card again? Less of Revelation. <coughs> and, uh, it's gonna go say Mystical Shield. Oh, awesome spell. Mystical Shield definitely uh, a valuable spell to have. <coughs> so, let's go back down to, uh, The first level of the sewers here. So we got uh, some of the orcs. So we're going to attack here. We should be able to uh, defend against them pretty well. Oh, we killed two orcs. Three orcs are dead. So these last four orcs are going to... Oh, of course, Bengal gets hit. Misses. Storm for six. Oh. I'm surprised that these orcs hit us so much with our negative 3 armor class. But, uh. Alright. So much for having the uh, low armor class. But we have lots of hit points, so, uh. 
it all works out here. And we're gonna fight. Oh, Grungle almost hit for 40 points of damage and lots of XP. And we found a Halberd, which is uh, nice. I think we can sell that for like, uh, I think it's like 75 gold, I think. Uh, always good. Money is always a good thing. Because spells will get very expensive in this game. So, alright, this will be our second fight here. Six gnomes! Alright, this is another, yeah, another uh, fairly easy fight here. Yeah, <clears throat> they're more likely gonna miss. Got four gnomes here. The grandma was really uh, killing it out there. All right. One gnome left. We are gonna fight, of course. And we critically hit that. A uh, chop zap this, obviously. So we got 80 XP and uh, 15 pieces of gold. And we found some chain mail. So this looks like to be another uh, run where we're gonna find all kinds of stuff. This is good for uh, gold. <coughs> Getting gold, of course. So we're going to take the stairs down, we're going to do a bard song here. So he bagging, we're going, to, we're going to play the traveler's tune here, gives us a, more, uh, a little more AC. So we're going to go up here, up north here, to explore uh, a small area which you can't get anywhere else except for going up this way. Mad dogs, one nomad. What else do we have here? We got two swordsmen, one spider, one nomad, and eight mad dogs. So uh, the swordsmen are going to be the toughest one here. Shadow is going to attack the spider, and Storm is going to attack the swordsman. Um, we'll have Ryzen cast uh, on the uh, mad dogs here. The swordsmen are a stronger version of the mercenaries. <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken. So I imagine if they hit me they can do uh, more damage. But uh, so far the swordsmen that we've uh, encountered have not hit us yet. And they're not going to hit us this time either since we killed them both. So yeah, one nomad and one mad dog. So Grungle definitely can take out the Nomad all by himself. So. Alright, we got 455 XP and 151 gold. And we got some scale armor. Nice. Nice. So let's kick open this door here. Alright, we have a battle. Uh, zombies are probably the strongest enemy in these uh, sewers here. Zombies in this game are tough. Uh, they are tough. So, Grungle will attack the zombies. Shadow will attack the conjurers. Storm will attack the uh, conjurers. So, this is probably going to hurt a little bit. We missed, which is good. And they missed, so we got lucky. Because when the zombies hit, it hurts. They do a lot of damage. We will fight, of course. So Grungo will fight the last zombie, and Shadow and Storm will attack the wolves. Nice, critically hit the wolves. The wolves are dead. And the zombie's dead. 
That's tapped out. Again, another almost 500 XP. Not much gold from that. So we got about 1000 XP from those two fights. Which is a lot. So we'll go up north. Two doors here. We'll go to this door first. We found three swordsmen. We're gonna attack here. Oh, one swordsman dead. Misses. And he's seven points of damage. The swordsmen don't seem to be uh, any worse than the mercenaries. So I'm not sure really what's the difference between the uh, swordsmen. And the mercenary is. <clears throat> it seems that we do about the same amount of damage. So let's chop zap that. So we get a lot of XP and not much gold from that. So let's go up north here. Oh, ha, 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 ha. eight barbarians. Oh, man. Really, really hate barbarians in large numbers. Um, Dragon Breath here. Dragon Breath on these uh, barbarians. The problem with using Marvin to do this is that uh, he generally goes last. So we're going to get a whole swap full of uh, barbarians attacking us first. So let's do that. It looks like uh, Shadow is becoming our weakest uh, party member here. Gungo got hit for 8. Gungo got hit for 11. Alright, uh, another barbarian is dead. <clears throat> oh, chops out that. Alright. Not a lot of XP for fighting barbarians. For how difficult they are. So, uh, that's it. Back up in this corner. So let's head back down. Here. We haven't been back here. Alright, we have uh, Conjurer with two hit points. I'm sure he'll die in one hit. We'll fight these merry band of uh, wolves here. And the wolf kills the Conjurer. <laughs> oh man. And the conjurer that we just hired is dead already. Ugh. Yeah, so uh, Shadow is pretty weak at this point in the game. I'm not sure if we'll get any better as uh, get levels up or not. Nothing back there. Oh, 
Oh, I gotta figure out where I wanna go next. So, we got uh, a little bit of uh, traveling to do here. Water seems very warm here. I bet. I bet. Two half works. We can definitely take these guys out. Uh, 85 XP and 15 gold. So, uh, let's go here. Three swordsmen. So, is this a darkness area? It's not marked on the map as darkness. So, that's kind of interesting. Misses. And the swordsman missed again. All right, killed one. Got two swordsmen left. All right, let's trap zap that. Two hundred fifty-six XP and eleven gold. Darkness, of course. Now this is basically pretty much a square room. Uh oh, let's cast a spell here. Let's go up this way here. And explore these uh, rooms up here. Three, three nomads. You definitely got this. enemies uh, in this one down here so we'll be, we might get, be able to get pretty far here might get pretty far on this one here and we got traps out that oh wow wow we got my, almost as much gold as we did experience for this fight Cool. So let's go straight over. Ah, oh, that's the kind of battle I was always looking for here. This is going to be a little more uh, challenging. Whoops, I'm not sure I wanted to do that. That's, uh, no. Attack, um, oh, oh, there's a lot of enemies here. And you can't attack the magicians here, which is bad. Um, let's go and go attack the half orc. Shadow attack the spider. Storm attack the half orc. Artify on the magician. And uh, star flare. 
on the four magicians. No effect, thank God. Oh, again, no, no effect. <coughs> All right, kill the half work. And uh, these should kill the rest of the uh, magicians. So we dodged the bullet there. We uh, kind of dodged the bullet there. One half work and two spiders. We're gonna fight. Uh, spider, half work, and spider. Yeah, right. Half work is dead, and this spider will be dead as well. Let's trap zap that. With this arm, of course. We got 312 XP and lots of gold. Phantom robes, which is pretty worthless. Okay. Continue going up north here. pretty much over here which will come down over there as well oh we have one zombie two conjures and one swordsman so we have that and that and that conjures aren't dangerous so we're not going to use any spells on them That's a spell, had no effect. Two conjures. Oh, it killed one conjure. And two conjures. So we got 341 XP and 71 gold. Awesome stuff. So there's nothing up there. So let's head down. Alright, let's head here. Oh! Black Widows! Uh, the thing with these spiders is they can poison you. These spiders can poison you. But there's three of them, we have three fighters, so we're just going to um, hold, up, hold out on this. And um, if we need to, we'll use Radisson to heal. Yeah, Gwen goes poison. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. One black widow. <clears throat> nice, let's trap zap that. 
There we got 512 XP for killing the Black Widows. And 39 gold. So we need to heal here. The flesh restore here. On the Grumble. And then we need to cast the uh, flesh restore here on uh, Storm. Yeah, Black Widows are probably the dangerous thing we'll find in the sewers. Oh, eight half orcs. Oh, damn. Yeah, there's one more door we want to visit before we head back. So hopefully we'll get enough magic for this. Oh, uh, yes. So we're going to have to take a beating here, hope for the best. So Grungle is uh, hurt pretty bad. Got six half orcs. Oh cool, Grungle is getting beat up. Hey, Spirius. Half orc and half alligator. That could be a possible combination. Anything is possible in the world of fantasy. Yeah, Shadow pretty much sucks at this point in the game. Oh, man. Definitely gonna need to do another flesh restore here. Uh, no, we need to heal. On Grungle. <clears throat> oh, we got 341 XP and uh, 126 gold. Oh, we got plate mail out of that, so that's another 350 gold. That we can get. Alright, so that's uh, pretty pretty nasty. One more door to go into. I have a feeling that this is going to be Black Widows as well. Considering that the last room was Black Widows. So, this is going to be bad. This is going to be very bad. Um, let's... Got to take a very, very big risk here. Very big risk. Mumbo. An allocator. Yes, that would, Spirius. It would. Alright, let's uh, kick this door open. Alright, there's no mud. There is no black widows in here, which is uh, a blessing. A blessing. So, two mercenaries, one skeleton. One conjure, one mercenary, we will fight. Um, we're gonna fight the mercenary. Everybody can fight the mercenary. That's gonna defend holy water on the skeleton. <clears throat> of course, Grungo gets hit. Uh, hit Shadow for five. And the skeleton is dead. One Conjure and one Mercenary. We will obviously fight. Gungle will attack the Mercenary, Shadow, the Conjure, and Storm will fight the Conjure. Quickly hit the Conjure. And the Mercenary is dead. This traps out. We got 213 XP and uh, 41 gold. We got some gauntlets. All right, so yeah, now we have to hurry all the way back to, to the uh, stairs here. 
Oh, an inscription on the wall read, Golems are made of stone. Yeah, I would kind of figure that golems are made from stone. So there is a, uh... Nice message there, so which way do we want to go? Go up one here. All the way over here. We're probably going to end up fighting one or two fights before we get out of here. But that area is uh, done. So we only have uh, one uh, <coughs> one area left before we're done here. We might be able to do it in the next run. So, um, yeah, let's keep going this way. All the way up. Whoops. I'm gonna go up here. Um. Yep. Nope. So, yeah, another fight coming up here. Alright, we have a kobold who wants to join us. Allow it to join. And we're going to have a fight right here. One kobold! Oh, we got so lucky here. We got lucky. And we killed the kobold. It's probably not worth trap zapping it, but uh, we're going to do it anyway. I should get nothing for him. That one Kobo will get 10 experience and 6 gold. And we got nothing else to show for that. So now we just gotta get out of the wine cellar. Three barbarians. Uh, Rise of Defend, we have some magic left, so let's do Star Flare. Yeah, yeah, the uh, enemies don't have very many hit points, so... No, it's not very good, he'll die on one hit. He'll die on one hit. Killed him. Nice. Got 100 XP and 31 gold. Oh, we found a torch that we can sell for 2 gold. And we'll lose, uh, we'll lose the uh, kobold if we uh, go into the Adventures Guild and save it. So He's probably not going to be of much use. So let's go up here, take these stairs up, and um, yeah, exit. Yep, yep. I noticed that the uh, spurious. So we're here, we made it back. <clears throat> I see Spurious. Let's uh... Um, we're going to save the game here. And of 
course, you can only save the game if you exit the game. You cannot save it and continue your quest. So you have to restart. So let's just do that. Let's start. All right, so let's enter the city and sell our crap. We'll five Harbor Goblins. We will fight. No magic here. We should be okay. Oh, I forgot to slow down the emulation here. So, oh, we're still good. Defend. All right, 75 XP and uh, 52 gold. Let's sell some stuff. What do we have to sell here? So we can sell the robes, the plate mail, the gauntlets, and the torch, which is a lot of gold, a lot of gold from items there. Nothing there. And I can sell the chain mail. Yeah, cobalt is uh, all gone. Alright, and two baggings. And the scale mail. Yes. Yes, uh, I can you can turn you can with this game you can turn up uh, emulation up and down. There's like four levels that you can choose. You can th not actually done by uh, cycles. It's done by uh, the CPU speed that you want to use. So you have like slow, medium, and uh, fast. And then you have the unlimited uh, unlimited uh, option, which will uh, put the speed in as fast as your processor can handle. So generally, for this game, you have to uh, <coughs> play at the slowest slowest setting. Otherwise, things go way, go by way too fast. Uh, thanks for the host, Leonel. Much appreciated. Uh, let's see if uh, any of our characters leveled up. Oh, you need 5,000 more XP to go. And I think everybody has the same amount. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. So I got 5,000 XP to go. So in this game, you do not automatically level up. You have to go to the advancement guild. All right, dear Lionel, uh, have fun, get some shopping done, and uh, bring back some good food. So we got eight kobolds here. Um, we got some magic bass, so let's cast west here. And that should kill the rest of these kobolds here. Oh, one survived! But Grungle will uh, take care of that one. So, oh, oh, you got 80 XP, which will put us at, at, at even 5,000 XP to the next level up. Cast a spell. Flash restore on uh, Gungle, so not quite as expensive to heal him. That's good. So 360 is uh, 
I'll bottle them out. Alright, so let's see your shadow. That's gonna be very cheap. And then storm, of course. This is a little expensive. But we'll definitely make more money than we're spending right now. So, uh, let's get a magic refill. That's gonna be expensive. That should cost us about a thousand gold. Two nomads. Uh, let's kill these nomads. Yeah, nomads are dead. Little bit of XP and gold. <coughs> It's the magic point shop here to get our magic points restored. And that's going to be almost 800 gold for that. That's good. And then 135, so it's about almost 1,000. And things will get more expensive as we uh, gain levels, obviously. There's more points, it goes more money. More hit points means more money. So let's see how much money we actually have here. So let's pull our gold here. 32,000. We're in good shape here. Oh, we have a halberd here. I didn't sell that. We can do that on the uh, way back here. My bot is uh, not uh, working right. There we go. He got it, Furious. Yeah, some reason, sometimes my bot does not uh, let uh, let you guys know uh, who rated and uh, address for some reason. Still haven't figured out why. Probably need to re log out and log back in again. All right, let's go back in here and uh, save. Let's uh, leave the game again. So hopefully this will be the last one, probably, for the first level of the sewers. There is a second level. There is a second level of the sewers, which, um... It's gonna be a little, little challenging. <clears throat> Mainly due to the black... Uh, there'll be more encounters with uh, Black Widow spiders. Three hobbits. Which uh, are yeah, black widows are pretty nasty, nasty, nasty uh, enemies. But they do give you a lot of XP. Yeah, true. Yeah, it could be uh, Twitch as well. Yeah, it's broken. Oh, I've got some chain mail out of that. That's just nice. So let's go back down here and uh, fight the samurai. Attack the samurai. Yes, that's good. I'll be playing through the entire series. So we'll be playing through one, two, and three. And the shadow quickly hits the samurai.
Yeah, I've only actually only ever played one. I never actually played uh, two and three, so uh, two and three will be completely blind. So order a drink, we need to get some ale for my bard. And then uh, we need some wine. Uh, let's drink some wine here. All right, we're back into the uh, wine cellar here. <clears throat> uh, in this time slot, no. I'll probably eventually play it in my uh, other time slot. Since I do have it installed already, so might as well play it while I have it installed. But not sure at what point I'll be playing that. Ah, hello there, Gross. Welcome to the stream. So, I think it stirs up. Let's cast the spell here. Uh, let's do a revelation, and then we're gonna cast um, mystical shield. Very good. So, let's do a revelation. Actually, not only gives us fire, but also is able to detect uh, secret doors. Yep, I would definitely be playing the new one as well. Um, I'm gonna try to squeeze it in during uh, one of my streams in my prime time slot. But this might be uh, not until the, n near the end of the year before I get to it. Alright, kill the Harbor Goblin. <clears throat> uh, 30 XP and uh, 31 gold. Okay, let's uh, take this door down. There'll be a battle here. Mm. Oh, barbarians. Oh, this is a pretty nasty fight here. Um, Marvin gonna cast uh, Dragon Breath. On the uh, barbarians here. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Misses are good. <clears throat> oh, eventually, barbarian was well, gonna get through, obviously. So this should kill all, if not most, of these barbarians. Now, so barbarians are uh, pretty nasty. Because they can actually do up, they can do up to like uh, 15 to 20 points of damage. That's all. Uh, and you have these skeletons. All right, that's uh, that was a good fight. So we got 321 XP and uh, 46 gold. We got some chain mail as well. All right, let's kick down this door. Go down to the next level and. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so what's the best way to get over there? Would be to take a shortcut. So we're not gonna travel all the way through the dungeon to get to the other side. So we're gonna cut through the wall here. So we're gonna head down south. Go to where we uh, normally go here. So we're going to turn here. There was something strange going on. So, right. Um, 
Let's yeah. not do. Yeah. We'll be going. We'll be coming back to that door later. We're gonna explore the other parts first. That red door is quite dangerous, but I think this map. And you'll see why in a little bit. You will see why. But let's go into this door here, because there's all kinds of rooms over here. So we might not be able to uh, go through all this in one run, but we'll see what we can do here. Oh man, lots of enemies. Lots of magicians though. Magicians are pretty nasty. Um, Gungo will attack the swordsman. Shadow will attack the orc. Uh, defend. On C. And star flare on D. And yes. Alright, three magicians are dead. The issue with uh, magicians is that they can cast Wither, which will make your character old, and that is very expensive to uh, cure from. <clears throat> so I should have uh, used a bard song here. It will probably have helped here. But we'll, we'll get the bard song going here after this battle. Alright, we missed. Let's trap that. So we got lots of gold and uh, lots of XP. You got a harp. So, um... Weapons, in the uh, music instruments in this game don't matter much. It's not like Wizardry where different instruments do different things. So... Alright. Yes, they, they use, we use a lot of the uh, images uh, in this game. Oh! There's another battle here. I looked at chat and we have another battle. Okay. I didn't even get a chance to cast my bard song. So, let's attack the wolves. Attack the wolves. We'll attack the uh, magician. And then attack the wolves. Oh, Guango got nailed there. Nailed by the wolf there. It's a very angry dog. Very angry. And we got eight orcs. Uh, we do star flare on the orcs. This might be a bad idea. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> Killing some spiders. I like the misses. The misses are good. So this should kill off uh, most of the orcs. And if we're lucky, all of them. Boys. So we're not gonna make it very far if we keep uh fighting these tough bat tough battles. Um let's do bird song. Uh, let's uh down there. Oh, I kick open this door here. No battle. Oh, 
Oh man, lots of orcs here. Lots of orcs. Uh, we'll just start off there again on the eight orcs. Yeah, magic in this game is really nice. But uh, obviously you have a limit to how much you can cast before you have to exit out of the dungeon. Which is uh, always a thing you have to be careful of. <clears throat> As you can see that uh, Marvin only has 26 spell points left. Ah, oh, look at all this misses. Uh, I got hit once. Congo finally got hit again. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, the only reason why orcs are not hitting me is by low, low armor class. So the uh, lower the number, the uh, better the armor class. Much like the uh, old school Dungeons and Dragons. So let's kill these last two orcs. Let's trap zap that. Ah, not in this game, Furious. Not in this game. And we really did not get much XP for that. 200, but we got a lot of gold, which is very nice. And let's um, cast a spell here. Bless Restore on Grungo. Uh, let's kick this door down. And uh, we finally reached the end of this room here. Let's fight. Ah, oh, Spurious. Spurious. You know what I mean. So we have six wolves. Oh, God damn it. Got sorcerers here too. Hmm. So we're gonna attack the sorcerers. If the sorcerers can't attack the whole party. On the mad dogs. And star flare on the wolves. <clears throat> yeah, this this uh, time out we are getting hammered with uh, a lot of uh, tough enemies here. Not tough, but uh, large numbers of them. All right, we fired uh, Shadow for three points. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about the Conjurers at this point in the game. Because they can't do much. Magicians are the ones you have to worry about. <clears throat> I wouldn't say weak, Spirius. Uh, wolves are pretty strong. But, um, as wolves can do uh, 17 to 20 points of damage per hit, they're not something to uh, play around with. Ooh, Conjo can hit people pretty good. 11 damage by hitting me with a wooden stick. We can kill these Conjurers now. And yeah, these conjures are dead. We should get a lot of XP for this fight. Since magic users tend to give a lot more XP. And, uh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, so we got the 1191 XP from that fight. This is nice. And uh, then we got the helmet from Marvin. So, finally we made it all the way to the end of this uh, lots of doorway passage here. We got two sorcerers. We'll fight you guys. Because you guys give good XP. And you don't have a lot of uh, hit points, so. Alright. Alright. Oh, we're back out here again. Go into this door here. There's lots of doors in this section. Oh man, uh, three zombies um, and five orcs. So we're just gonna attack the zombies, and we just got the base for a, a base for uh, impending attack from the orcs here. Oh, that hurt! That hurt. Zombie did 15 points of damage. Killed one zombie, two zombies, and the orcs can get their uh, free swings in. Fight! Gungo will attack the zombie, and Shadow and Storm will attack the orcs. are missing. Four orcs left. Alright. Okay. So there will be one orc left here. And uh, this battle will be won. Let's tap zap it. Slowly whittling away against my uh, mana I'm getting here. So we got 339 XP and not much gold. Not bad. So there's nothing in here. So let's head south here. Four barbarians. Saving my magic, so we're just gonna attack them and uh, hope for the best. <clears throat> it's well low on magic, so we can't just uh, we use all that mana up that we have. Cause I save it for the fights that we need it for. Shadow kills one. <clears throat> and the barbarians are dead. And find a mandolin. Lots of intimates on this run. And intimates, the intimate doesn't really matter in this game. Let's go in here. Seven barbarians. Yeah, no magic here either. We'll see how this goes here. This could be uh, my last fight, depending on how much I get hit. And I only killed one of these barbarians. Okay, barbarians hit pretty hard if they hit. Aim like Grungle. Alright, Kuroki, Kuroki hit the uh, 
Zombie. A critical hit in this game means an instant kill. Much like in Wizardry. So this is going very well, very well here. And so uh, we're gonna get hit once. Thank much thanks to the uh, spell and the bird song. Low on our armor class. So let's chop that. We got a lot of XP again. <clears throat> Yet another instrument. <clears throat> Got quite a collection of instruments going on here. So... Don't think I went in this door, so let's do it here. So we have uh, two jade marks, three spiders, three nomads, and two spiders. Okay. Kill the jade monk because they do more damage than the spiders. Okay. Nice. Two spiders, three nomads, and two spiders. A nomad advance. One would think, Ambazine. I am not sure uh, why they'd be wearing uh, pink. Not entirely certain. All right, kill some nomads. Ah, oh, Gungo got hit again. Two spiders and two spiders. We will fight. These spiders cannot poison me, so I'm not concerned about them. Um, we're gonna cast a uh, flesh restore here on uh, Gungo. Yes, so you can count. Yes, two plus two equals four. So that means that there are four spiders. So we have one spider and one spider. So if we add those together, we will get two spiders. I'm glad that you could do some math there, Spirius. Uh, this game is doing it by groups. So you have uh, two groups of spiders. You have a group of three spiders and a group of two spiders. It's for mainly because um, most spells can only target a single foe or a single group. So you can't actually target... I don't, I'm not sure if uh, Boruto has any spells to target entire groups. So um, It limits uh, how much damage you can do to the enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I was in. it's kind of like stacks. Okay, got some more experience in gold, and we got a uh, buckler. And our magic is dwindling here. So we have two more doors I'd like to get through before we go back. These are the last two doors here. Oh my god. What do we have here? Oh, there's two groups of one magicians. Um so we're gonna attack uh we're gonna attack the spider. Shadow's gonna attack the magician. 
And then the fan cast a off fire on the last magician. And the mad dogs were just gonna have to brace for impact because I don't have the magic for that. Mad dogs should we should be okay with the mad dogs. We should be able to uh, defend against them. We will fight, and Bungo will attack the last fighter, and everyone will attack the Mad Dog. Oh man! The Mad Dog are a weaker version of the Wolves, so they shouldn't do much damage if they hit uh, five points of damage, as you can see. This shouldn't be bad. Six mad dogs. These are not happy dogs. These are mad dogs. So, ten points of damage and a mad dog is still alive. That's uh, that's pretty impressive. Oh, so we got four mad dogs. Alright, so uh, made the right choice here. Made the right choice. Uh, kill these mad dogs off. <clears throat> Let's chop zap. Chop zap will does eat up my my uh, magic points. So we will soon be too low to use any magic. So 417 XP, 80 gold, and uh, find some chain mail. All good for selling. There's nothing in here. So let's head down to this last room here. Four nomads, four spiders, and one mad dog. So we're gonna attack the uh, mad dog, uh, nomads here. Um, Ryslin, mm, we're defend. We're going to take the hit here. And nomad, a weaker version of the barbarians. Oh, 10 points of damage. So Nomads and Fighters are about on equal footing as far as damage is concerned. So we're gonna fight. Shadow will attack the Spider and Storm will attack the Nomad. <clears throat> Alright. Ah, oh, Spider hit Grungo. And storm. Wow, a fight, of course. We made it this far. So after this battle, we're gonna head back. Cause uh, we're pretty low on magic. Very good question, Spurious. Very good question. A question that I cannot answer. Because that's the way it's supposed to be. They all talk to each other telepathically to uh, arrange my death. So we got another 210 XP and 73 gold and we found some scale one armor. We got lots of stuff on this one. <clears throat> so 
So we are gonna get the hell out of here. Oh, okay, we allowed the magician to join us. Yeah, the uh, magic users are pretty weak. Pretty weak here. Um. <clears throat> and here we are. Up to the uh, cellars here. Oh, do I do anything before I go in here? Uh, probably not. Yeah. He's gonna die in the first hit, so... Seven known, one conjure, and four dwarves. Dwarves advance. Um... Uh, fight the dwarves, I guess. We have, we have enough magic, we'll, we'll cast, uh... Last on the uh, seven gnomes here. Cause this should be like the last fight in the uh, dungeon here. <clears throat> oh, you killed my magician already. Oh, man. Love the group spells. Two dwarves and one conjurer. We will fight, of course. Gungo will attack the dwarf, Shadow the conjurer, and Storm will also attack the other dwarf. Okay, so let's uh, trap zap. Got 163 XP and 39 gold. And we find a torch who can sell for a whopping two gold coins. Yeah, thanks for the Spirius. Uh, thanks for the uh, host of Spirius. So now we just gotta get out of here. We should be okay. Let's uh, go here. Uh, let's order a drink. Drink some ale. Because you need to uh, drink alcohol in order to uh, replenish your uh, number of blood chunks you can do. It's always a good idea to do that. So now we head back to save. I'm surprised the uh, bird song is still playing. And another successful one. Yep, the magician is dead. He couldn't, uh, took his way out of the situation. So let's, uh... Save the game. He's a conjurer of cheap tricks. That's one way of putting it, that's furious. Alright, let's uh, go here and drive to... Soon 17.
Time to sell all our crap. So we sell the halberd that we got the last time. We got the buckler, scale armor, and the torch. <clears throat> the only magic item that I have found so far with the mithril sword. So let's sell the uh, chainmail, the chainmail, and the harp. Yes, that sounds like that sounds about right for him. He only has like two hit points, so he's like a peasant. So uh, yeah, he was a uh, good at politics. Good at politics. So that's what we got here. Got some gauntlets. You'll never get magical items because they'll be uh, <clears throat> they'll be worth a lot more money. But so far, we haven't found much of anything magical. Yeah, mandolin and some chain mail. We have a mandolin here. We got a lot of stuff here. Oh, we got a mandolin again and a helmet. So, how much money do we got? Almost 40,000 coins, holy crap. We are so rich. We are rich. Even with the uh, spell upgrades, we're still gonna be very rich. <clears throat> but don't think we're gonna level up yet. But we'll check. All right, Grungo. 422 XP. Oh, we are so close. We are so close. <clears throat> we will definitely level up next time. We will definitely level up next time. I could farm it here, but it'll take too long. It'll be easier just to go in the dungeon and uh, continue exploring. So let's cast uh, on uh, Grungo here. Perfect. So then we have Shadow. Storm. Alright, everybody's healed up. Which is a good thing. Oh, one conjure. What will we ever do here? Uh, we killed him, of course. We got the one whopping gold coin from him, and we found a tower shield. I don't know what the uh, conjure was doing with the tower shield, but we had one. So let's go get our magic points back. 690, let's do it. And then Marvin. Head back, save the game, and uh, finish off the sewers because we are almost done. So we might actually even see the. Uh, oh, I got six dwarves here. 
Might even see sewers level two here on this one. Hello there, David Fish. Welcome to the stream. Oh, Gongo got hit. Uh, Gongo got hit again. Mm, nasty, nasty doors. Alright. <clears throat> 80 XP and 47 gold. Alright, that's uh. Holy crap, there's a lot of, a lot of dudes here. Oh, wow, eight points and the magician is still alive. That's a, a B3 magician. So I lost uh, where I'm at. Oh, right, so that's back at the uh, temple. So, okay, I know where I'm at now. Okay. Whoops, went too far. So you go again. Samurai, who's always graciously waiting for us. And of course the Samurai is uh, dead, of course. So, back to the bar again. Good, good stuff, go down to the cellar, pick up a bottle. So, no, not pick this up. Last of Revelation. And uh, Mystical Shield. Down the door for our first fight. One hobbit, one nomad, seven orcs, and three barbarians. And the barbarians are advancing. <clears throat> so we're all gonna attack the barbarians. We're just going to uh, wing this one here without magic. Kill the barbarian. Storm for 13. <clears throat> one hobbit, one nomad, and seven orcs. And the orcs are advancing, of course. Uh huh. So we can attack the orcs here. Gongo got hit.
Four orcs and one hobbit and one nomad, nomad advancing. Talk the nomad and then uh, everybody else will talk the orcs. I remember when orcs used to be really, really dangerous. Now they're almost nothing. Grungle will attack the orc, Shadow will attack the Hobbit, and Thorn will attack the orc. Alright, Hobbit's dead, one orc's dead, and the last orc is dead. Chop zap this. <clears throat> Uh, 248 XP. And found a buckler. Oh, of course. Why not? So, do a bard song here. We'll do the Traveler's Tune. to these doors that we avoided last time. So let's see how this goes. Five Black Widows! Oh, this is why I avoided this. Oh. Black Widows are pretty nasty here. Very, very nasty. Alright, let's do this. Let us do this. Dragon Breath, for the win, I hope. We might die here, we might die here. Uh, poison Storm. Oh, miss, good. Alright, so everybody attacked Storm, so that was a good thing. They attacked the Grungle, we will probably been very close to death here. Chop that. Got 853 XP and 99 pieces of gold. So we're gonna cast Flesh Restore here. This will cure poison and heal. So, we're going to fight more Black Widows. No, no more Black Widows. Oh boy, this is only door number two. This is only door number two. Let's fight. Uh, zombie, zombie, um, zombie. On the sorcerers. Nice, critically killing the zombie. That's two zombies. Ah, oh, right. Zombies don't get to attack, which is awesome. Oh, they're casting a spell, repel. Four points of damage. Five points. Shadow is getting burned to death here. My turn to uh, cast a spell. And uh, that will kill the sorcerers. <clears throat> Four orcs and two skeletons. Uh, 
Strong Girl will attack the skeletons. Shadow will attack the orc, and Storm will attack the skeletons. Well, that wasn't too bad. That's just not too bad of a fight, since we were able to quickly take care of the zombies without taking any damage from them, so that uh, definitely makes it this battle uh, easier when that happens. <clears throat> uh, one walk left. Another chop zap, yep. Seven hundred and forty-three XP. Lots of XP fi uh, fighting through these doors up here. So we're about halfway through these uh, doors here. Let's kick this door open. Nothing in that one. One sorcerer and seven half orcs and one magician. So half orc, sorcerer. Not taking a chance on the magician, so we're gonna kill him. Yes. Sorcerer is dead. And the magician is dead. And then we'll wait for the half orcs to swing at me. <coughs> We will fight, of course. Quickly hitting the uh, half work. Thirteen damage, and he's still alive. We got three works left. I stop saying it works. Three half works. Damn, 10 damage, he still survived. Uh, one walk left. One half walk left, I should say. And we have this battle in the books. And the half walk is dead. Another chop zap here. Another 443 XP. Got some leather gloves. down here. We'll avoid that passageway for now. Oh man, there's a lot of enemies down here. Holy crap. Oh, Jade Monks. We'll conserve our, ma conserve our magic here. Just think, we have to come back this way too. So once we go down the level, ah uh, yeah. So I think the next level of spell will give us a teleport spell, I think. So we'll be able to teleport directly out of a dungeon. Uh, barbarians for sure. So we will not be uh, going down to the next level uh, on this run. 
because of all those fights that we had to do there. Since uh, I think if we switch floors and go back down, it becomes very hard to get back because it go through those uh, four doors of enemies, which could be very tough. So we might as well go back, level up, and uh, see what spells we got. Because we might be able to just uh, simply teleport out if I, my memory serves me correctly. Ow. That Jade Monk is uh, really hurting me. But now nah, that Jade Monk is dead. <clears throat> oh, I got seven orcs. Uh, this is going to be uh, pretty easy here. Oh, why do you keep trying to ha ha hit Gungle? And Gungle will, I think we'll lose another uh, point of AC when he levels up. So he'll have a negative 5 AC once I have all my uh, defenses up. That three works. We don't need really any spells here. Storm is taking a beating here in this uh, dungeon crawl. Uh, one walk left. And of course we're going to win. Got another 487 XP and uh, wow, 209 gold. Got a flute. door here. Alright, let's go in this door. Alright, we have one conjurer, one nomad, and four mad dogs. So this is going to be uh, an easy fight. We got four mad dogs. Dog, and you are dead as well. Oh, traps up that. And not about to experience it the last few battles, but all experience is good. The inscription on the wall reads Oakum, Desmet, Dom. Hmm, probably should write that down. Might be important for later. It's not entirely sore. I okay, um Level one. So we'll see. Might come in handy later. Might not. Not. Don't remember using it at all. Let's kill that. <clears throat> all right. So we'll head back. We're not gonna enter in this other door here. We'll do that the next one. Now this is an actual uh, easier one here. Now go here. 
Oh, we got some nomads and twistles. Storm is taking a beating here. Nomads. All right, 316 XP and 96 gold. Yep. No. One spider. Oh, I got an easy fight here. <clears throat> uh, probably not worth it, but we, we had the magic point, so we might as well do it. Uh, a whopping 25 XP. Woohoo. And two gold. Back to the guild hall and save, and then we'll uh, go through the level up procedure and sell our stuff and heal and all that stuff. Ah, yes, uh, and this night it is getting better. Yeah, I have a couple of spells going there. A Mythic Shield and uh, a Bird Song. And we just finished up uh, Sewer Level 1. So after we get uh, healed up and sell our stuff and level up, we will be uh, headed to Sewer Level 2. Sell here helmet. Don't think I'm gonna have much to sell here since that was a shorter run. Sell the buckler. Sell the flute. And so the tower shield. So how much gold do we have all together here? Uh, we're getting rich. <clears throat> we are getting rich. But we're going to take a big hit to the uh, pocketbook here. Everybody should level up here. Uh, one the luck. So now we have a negative two armor class. Another one the luck. Nice. Well, one intelligence, which so doesn't do me any good. And one intelligence, which doesn't do me much good. One the strength, which doesn't do me much good. And uh, dexterity. 
which will eventually help me later on. So everybody leveled up. <clears throat> so we can get spells, right? Yep, 7,000 gold for level 5 spells. Like I said, spells get expensive here. Uh, let's pull the gold. Spell requirements. Yes, we will get the uh, level 5 spells. The spell sages have taught you the lore. Okay. Alright, we need the Marvin. And Marvin. The spell stages have taught you the lore. Alright. Yes, so we have uh, level 5 spells. We'll look at them once we get back to the guild. See what we got. See what we have that will be useful. But now we're gonna heal here. Alright, we need to go to. Oh yes, healing is getting quite expensive, so that is like over a grand. Over a grand. That was over a grand. Alright. So let's get our magic points back, which should be fairly cheap. Two mercenaries. We can definitely do that. Oh, we can hit for three times. Oh man, that is so nice. 73 XP and 21 gold. Nice. Uh, that's uh... Yeah, 225. Yeah, get the uh, spell points back. So we have 70 uh, spell points now for Razvan. Marvin did not require restoration, so he had a max of 58. So it will be another two levels before we gain the uh, level 6 spells. Yep. Um, four mercenaries. Lots of mercenaries here. Misses. Three times for 38 damage. So, my, uh, my, uh, hunter doesn't seem to be very good here anymore. And that might become a problem. So I may eventually replace him with another monk. Which would be uh, kind of... Uh, make a party pretty awesome. Uh-uh. 
<clears throat> and there are seven levels of spells in this game. So uh, we're more than halfway through the uh, having all the spells. Yes, I was buffed. Yes, I understand. I was definitely buffed. But Grungo loses one AC for every level up. So, um, yeah, Grungo will be the first to get uh, the very low armor class. So, let's see what spells we got. So, for a conjurer, who will be Razlin. So we have Greater Revelation. This spell functions like Lesser Revelation spell, only it illuminates a wider area. So I'll be probably using that. Wrath of Valhalla makes a party member fight with the strength and accuracy of the ancient Norse heroes for the entire combat. And Shocksphere, a large globe of intense electrical energy, envelops a group of enemies doing 8 to 32 damage. Oh wow. So we got no teleportion, no teleport spell here. Yet. So uh magician. We have anti-magic. Causes the ground to absorb a portion of magical energies. The energized cast at the party, frequently allowing the member to escape all damage. Also, aid in this believing illusions and then turning back magical fire like dragon's breath. <clears throat> then we have the uh, Akko's animated sword. A magical sword will appear and fight like a summoned monster in defense of the party. And stone touch. This spell will often turn an enemy to stone, or a stone monster from living stone to dead stone. But it doesn't always work. <clears throat> so, not very useful spells here. Anti-magic could be useful, in, I guess, in certain situations. But well, we don't get teleportation until uh, level 7. So, uh, it's gonna be a while before we can teleport. So, uh... So let's save the party here. Which means we're gonna have to go through those doors, uh, going down to level 2 and then back up. Which is gonna be very, very annoying and very, very, uh, difficult. The game gonna get hard here again. <clears throat> While we do more damage, it's not gonna help us uh, take damage. So, inviting Black Widows is always a dangerous thing to do. But we'll do it, we'll get through this. Who knows, I might find an entrance to uh, the city from the uh, second level. Not entirely certain. <clears throat> Let's enter the city. And uh, four skeletons uh, jump me right as soon as I leave the building. skeleton uh, we got uh, more XP and gold didn't see how much more we needed but it's gonna be a lot it's gonna be a lot
I imagine it can be somewhere between like 20 and 30,000 XP to the next level. Maybe more. Attack the Guardian. Alright, Shadow kills the Samurai. Do this, order a drink. And down into the wine cellar we go. Thanks so much, Cast Lots of Revelation. Oh, getting jumped again. Getting jumped. Uh, whoops. I don't have my defensive spells up. I'm going to cast the spell on these orcs here. So that's going to happen. <clears throat> Kill these orcs. So I didn't get a chance to get my uh, defensive spells up. And the orcs can definitely uh, do some damage there. One kobold and one hobbit. And everything's gonna die here. Uh, 155 XP and 58 gold pieces. And uh, we found the mace. To conserve our magic, probably just going to cast Lesser Re 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 Revelation. Um, and then um, Mystic Shield. Uh, Grungo, negative 4 AC now, pretty nice. We'll get the Bard Song, it'll be negative 5, so that is going to be uh, pretty awesome. Five barbarians, five hobbits, four conjurers, and four dwarves. And the dwarves are advancing. Ah, oh, so many enemies, man. <clears throat> so we're gonna try to do this without taking, uh, using spells. Miss. No effect. No effect. Killing the barbarians. The slash that Grungo is uh, pretty fruitless for these guys. Fires them for one point of damage. Oh, we're gonna fight. Kill these barbarians off. Ooh, 50 damage. <laughs> so much damage by my monk. Miss, 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 miss. Uh, hit me for seven. One barbarian, four dwarves, and... Five hobbits and four conjures. Shadow sucks, as always. Mm. 
Znovu fakt. Only thing Shadow is good for is for uh, taking some damage. <clears throat> Since he is very hard to hit. We'll fight. Take out the uh, dwarves. This is a long fight. Alright. Miss. And you're dead. Five stand for two points of damage. Oh, five hobbits and four conjurers. We're gonna keep fighting the hobbits here. Because the conjurers can't do much damage to me. No effect, of course. Hobbits getting crushed to death. Two hobbits, four conjurers. The conjurers advance. <clears throat> and the hobbits are dead, and there's three conjurers left. You guys are uh, no match for me here. Oh, chopped up. Uh, 345 XP and lots of gold. And we got a dagger, which is uh, not sold very much. I believe you get that 10 gold pieces for a dagger, maybe, if we're lucky. Yep, take these stairs down. No. Um, Bard song here. Uh, we're gonna play the Traveler's tune, as always. Barbarian and four nomads. Five points. Nice. Two nomads. Guys are dead. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Five black widows. Dragon Breath here. Oh, these Rock Widows. They're gonna hurt. These guys are gonna hurt. Oh, we get the first attack this time, so we can middle these guys down a little bit. Oh, a miss. Awesome. Alright, we actually are not gonna get hit by these uh, Black Widows. That is, uh... Very awesome. Hello there, uh, Nox. Welcome. Uh, we got 853 XP. I'm in 
six barbarian, two zombies, six orcs, and one nomad. Attack the zombie, shadow, attack the barbarian. No spells here. So most of the attack should be on Grungle. And Grungle should be uh, almost impossible to hit. Okay, the uh, Ambazine, thanks for stopping by. Yes, the uh, epic conclusion of uh, King's Bounty's uh, Warriors of the North will be happening tonight. We are pretty close to uh, winning that game. So, ooh, that's a lot of enemies. Um, no spells. I'm going to see what happens. They're going to attack Storm. <clears throat> oh, well, well, 15 damage. Hmm. Four barbarians, six orcs, and one nomad. Little star flare here on the uh, orcs. Guys, uh, this is a nasty, nasty, nasty fight here. I don't want to take too, too much damage because we actually do want to explore a little bit on the level two. Hmm? Let's have to go through all these doors on the way down, and then have to go through all these doors on the way back up. There is uh, no way around that. Yeah, there is absolutely no way else to get there except for through these doors. So let's fight. One barbarian and a nomad. Mm. Let's tap tap it. Four hundred and ninety XP. <clears throat> uh, three zombies and four sorcerers. Okay. We're we'll actually going to not attack the sorcerers and see how well that goes. I just should repel most of the uh, magic here. Except for Shadow, who will get hit. Well, T backing got hit, which is fine. Nine points of damage. Kill some of these uh, sorcerers off. None. That <clears throat> sorcerer didn't even hit anybody in that one. 
Marvin got hit. Two sorcerers left. Let's tap that that. Seven hundred and sixty eight XP. So very good. Lots of XP is good. Let's head towards level two here. Darkness. Two mad dogs. Oh, this is an easy fight. And mad dogs are dead. 60 XP and 34 gold. Those stairs going down. You want to take them? Ah, uh, yes. No. All right. Oh, uh, I need a map of uh, two is level two. here Explore this area. <clears throat> Whoops. So there's no way up to the uh, city from here, so we have to go through all that uh, madness. Attacking the uh, magicians. Alright, hit and storm. Oh, thank God, thank God. One jade mark. <clears throat> well, so far, the enemies look like to be the same as in the last level, so should be more of the same, I guess. We found a flute. All right, work one to join. Allow. So we have an orc with 11 hit points. So let's start here. Somehow I think I'm gonna regret this. Seven black widows! Seven! Seven! Well, we can say goodbye to the orc. Uh, dragon breath here. Seven black widows. 
Let's hope for the best. <clears throat> oh, I couldn't be cutting the Black Widow. Mrs. is good. Mrs. is good. And then Poison Storm. This is fine. Oh, the Wolf Cure is a Black Widow. Trap zap that. This is probably gonna give me over a thousand XP, I imagine. Yep, we got 1,194 XP and 110 pieces of gold, and we found a staff. Let's restore on uh, Storm. Nothing here. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 13 spiders? Oh, they're really upping the uh, monster count here. Um, we're going to do Star Flare. Oh, well, the orc's still alive. This is nice. Well, this should kill most, if not all, of these spiders. Uh, well, these rooms are a little dangerous here. Oh, chop, chop that. So not much XP for that. 325 and 119 gold. So opening doors in this game, in this uh, level is pretty dangerous. And we have to head back pretty soon. I'll do one more battle. Let's go straight. Mercenaries and uh, four musicians. We'll fight. The musicians. I'll fire here on the uh, musicians. Two works and three mercenaries. So the danger threat level on these is pretty equal. Let me do the orcs. Alright, orc kills a mercenary. And 
kill my work. We're down to one orc left. Oh, we have one mercenary left too. Go and go fight the mercenary and everyone else attack the orc. All right, 484, 484 XP and 92 gold and uh, leather gloves. Nice. So I think we'll head back now because we have to go through those four doors again to get out of here. So we did a, a little bit here. This might be slow going until we get that teleport spell. Yeah, definitely don't want to go up there yet. Two magicians. We'll kill these guys. of enemies. Barbarians are advancing here. So we have a uh, lot of barbarians. We're going to stick with uh, just attacking for now. <clears throat> I need to conserve my uh, magic points here. Probably gonna have to heal storm. I'm gonna fight two groups of barbarians now. Is that the idea here? Alright, uh, let's take the second group out. Four barbarians, two skeletons, and three conjurers. Barbarians for sure. Two barbarians will fight, and the shadow is going to attack the, one of the conjurers. Mm hmm. No effect. Barbarians are dead. <coughs> We will fight, of course. Grungor will attack the skeleton, Shadow the Conjurer, and Storm will take the last skeleton out. That wasn't too bad. We took a couple big hits from the uh, Barbarians. But uh, we do need to save that magic. Because um, we're going to be fighting some more Black Widows on the way back out of here. 
We got almost got 600 XP for that. Yep. Darkness. Takes us where again? Level one? Oh, where are we at exactly? Yo, oh, so it actually takes us back to level two. Oh, two is level one. Okay, but well, why do I still have? Uh... There's a. Uh... Oh, let's see what happens here. Ah, oh, I see. Just that one spot where I had no darkness. I was a little confused there for a second. I will allow it. And then we will have our uh, Allison here. Loss of Revelation. Ah, <clears throat> oh, two magicians. Get down these doors here. I'm uh, so afraid of these. Oh, we got here. Talk to Jade Monk. All right, Jade Monks are all dead. A couple of mercenaries gonna take a swing. I should probably recast my uh, bird song here. So I got a wolf here. I got almost 200 XP and 87 gold. Very nice. We get Traveler's turn here. Three nomads, that's a pretty easy fight here. Kill one nomad, kill two nomads, and the wolf should kill the last one. This arm. Got 60 XP and 23 gold. All right, time for Black Widows here. Five Black Widows. Dragon Breath, be sure you guys die. Yes. Miss. Kills my wolf, which is fine. Miss. Eight hundred fifty-three XP and fifty-two gold pieces. Beautiful. All right, we made it. Alright. 
Oh, uh, we have uh, three zombies, one skeleton, and four wolves. We're going to fight the zombies. Alright, can't hit my grungle, which is good. So I'm just getting hit off. One zombie, one skeleton, and four wolves. And of course, the wolves are gonna advance. Alright, we should be able to do this without too much of a problem. I need to heal storm. Three wolves and a skeleton. Uh, restore flash. Uh, whoops. Flash restore on a uh, storm. Wolves are dying. Alright, ah, skeleton here. And quickly hit that skeleton. Nice. Very nice. We found an instrument. It's probably just a standard instrument, it's probably not magical. Yep. No. Oh my god, so many enemies here. Since we are on the first level, we're gonna use some magic here. Misses here. Oh, barbarians are trying to hit me, but they are failing miserably here. And Marvin will kill the big group of our barbarians here. <clears throat> Three barbarians and eight kobolds. We'll do that on the kobolds here. Which will probably put me at my limit for my magic points there. <laughs> well, this is the last uh, for sure fight. We might hit some more random encounters. But uh, everything on the wine cellar we could probably kill without uh, magic. Except for when we fight large groups of uh, barbarians. <clears throat> yeah, Alright, Shadow hit critically hits the barbarian. And another 480 XP. We gained a lot of XP on this uh, run here. Which is, uh, we'll help get to the next level. Alright, time to get out of here. Drink here. 
to uh, get our voice back. Looks like it's still daylight out, which is nice. Yeah, we made it back safely once more. So let's save our game and do all the uh, chores we need to do around town here. Okay, let's uh, start Bud's tail here. <clears throat> All right, let's sell our crap. Got an instrument, so uh, yeah. Show the leather gloves, we can sell the robes. Leather gloves, tower shield, and instrument. Flute and mace. Not uh, a lot of uh, expensive items, but uh, every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. So we have a dagger and a leather armor. Got a lot of gold in that one. Got 1600 gold, that's a nice chunk. Um, all right, it's tea baggings. So the la base. And we saw this the leather gloves and the staff. And the mandolin. Let's pour our gold, see how much we got. Oh yeah, we just we just recovered pretty much uh, all the money that we lost from gaining the spells. So uh, we're definitely set for life here with the money thing. We're definitely set for life. All right, let's see the advancement here. Probably not gonna gain any levels here, but let's just see how much we need. So yeah, I need 28,000 after we got all that XP. So uh, we have a lot. Probably gonna take a two or three more runs. Let's see if everybody needs the same amount. So Shadow needs less, <clears throat> which is nice. 18, nice. 18. So uh, Grungo, Razlin, and Marvin need more XP to level up. So our magic users are going to uh, level up slower than the fighters for this level. Yeah, two magicians. And you guys are dead. Dead. <coughs> Oops, I went too far. So let's go and get healed and uh, get our magic points back. Storm is going to be quite expensive. Quite expensive. So everybody can eat healed. 
Because we got hit with uh, magic in the back end. Seven hundred and forty. Yeah. All right, let's go to baggings. Then Marvin. Oops, went too far. Get the magic. This is also going to be expensive. 720 gold. <sighs> yep. Whoops. Hit the wrong uh, number. There we go. Okay, let's uh, head back. That was a pretty good run. Uh, two skeletons. You were prepared to meet your death. Good, 36 XP and 15 gold. Whoops. One gnome! Oh, you think you can kill me, gnome? You can kill my group of six adventurers? Yeah, we clearly killed that gnome. He didn't even see what was coming. And we found a buckler, which we will sell um, after we do the next dungeon run. Uh, let's save the game here. So, I'll wrap things up here because there's not enough time to do another uh, dungeon run here. So, um, uh, thanks again uh, everyone for uh, coming out here and watching some Bard's Tale 1. Uh, we'll probably be continuing this on Friday. Friday night at probably about 7 or 8 p.m. Eastern. Because um, I will be finishing up uh, King's Bounty here tonight at uh, about 7 p.m. Eastern. So the next uh, game in my evening slot, we will be playing some Stonekeep, which is another old school dungeon crawler. So um, <clears throat> and that also can be a quite an interesting game. And um, yeah, so it's a FMV game, which can be pretty cool. So feel free to join me for that. But uh, Stonekeep will not start until next Saturday night at uh, 7 p.m. So, uh, Bard's Tale, next stream will be Friday. <clears throat> Friday at uh, 7 p.m. And then, of course, we'll continue uh, Bard's Tale on a new, no normal slot of Saturday and Sunday at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern as well. So, uh, thanks everyone. And um, let's uh, see who we can raid here uh, today. See who's on.
Um. Uh, let's get Chrono Wolf a raid. He's streaming some uh, Alien Isolation. That's my Moobot. Good Moobot. So, uh... So, good day, Hunchy in a Rage. You need a bar to sing happy tunes. So, uh, thanks again everyone for coming, and I uh, hope to see you next time.